Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a product that just launched. I was actually really excited when this product launched and I knew it was something that I wanted to try. And I'm sure you guys have seen people talking about this product already. Um, I've seen lots of videos on it already on YouTube, but um, I already planned on doing a first impression or kind of showing you guys the product anyway here on my channel. So I decided even though there is a million and one videos, I will still do mine for you guys. So the product that I'm talking about is going to be the new Laura Mercier powder in the translucent medium deep color. We are all familiar with the original Laura Mercier powder in just the color translucent. She recently released the medium deep shade, which I'm actually really excited about because a lot of brands sometimes don't listen like when women of color say we want a darker shade, we want a deeper shade. I'm actually glad that she listened to what women of color had to say and saw that we spent just as much money on her product as any other skin tone does. I use this one in the Kat Von D to set my under eye, but for some reason I reach for this one just a little bit more. The Kat Von D one is good, but this one has my heart. This became really popular when um, a lot of YouTubers and Instagrammers and things like that started using this powder to set their under eyes or bake. Now. Let's talk about something really quick. When I was watching the YouTube reviews here, I saw that people maybe didn't know exactly what this powder was meant to do. So in this video, I'm gonna give you accurate facts of how to actually use this powder. When Laura Mercier went in her little lab and started working on this powder right here and she released it, she never said this was to bake. She never said use this to put in your T-zones for that bright highlight. That is not what this powder was ever meant for. Does it work well for that? Yes. Is it marketed for that? No. As YouTubers and Instagrammers and in the new age of makeup, and I love that people can take a product and use it in different ways because I think it works great for setting the under eye and the highlighting areas, but this was not what she had meant the powder for. So when I saw a lot of reviews, a lot of people were using this and they were trying to bake with it. This is a translucent setting powder. I discovered within the last year that setting my makeup with a loose powder, uh, whether it be a loose foundation powder, a loose translucent powder, my makeup stayed on longer and it helped with the fine lines and any laugh lines or pores that I had on my skin. Um, I just think the formula of a loose powder is meant to blend and just kind of soak into the skin a little bit better than a pressed hard powder. So I am truly, truly a fan of loose powders to set my makeup with. And now I see why a lot of actual real makeup artists use loose powders to set makeup instead of using um, press powders to a lot of the people that were reviewing this powder was saying oh this is the color of my skin like what would I bake with this and this is not bright enough why would I bake with this it is not meant for you to bake with you can still use a translucent powder to bake with this one is meant to set your overall face another reason why I really wanted to try this powder is that is that I remember one day I tried to set my whole face with this where it wasn't the right color for me and I had a little bit of a gray cast you guys, that whole day, my face did not get oily. I mean, I had that foundation on for like seven hours and my face held up so well. And I was like, man, if she only had this powder in a darker color, I could set my whole face with it. And it would be amazing because it has such good oil control properties to it that that's another reason. You guys know I'm oily, really oily my T-zone. So I was like, I need to try this powder. So now that we have all of that, out of the way, I'm going to go into the application and show you guys how I applied the powder onto my skin and I will be back after that. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply my concealer. I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals um, Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the shade Dark to Deep and I'm going to use that in the places that I would normally highlight which is under my eyes. Now that I have that on, I'm just going to blend that out using my Damp Beauty Blender. Alright, now that I've uh, blended in my concealer, so I'm going to go in with the original Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier. And I'm going to use that to set my under eye. As you can see, I don't go overboard with the powder, like I don't do all the unnecessary baking. I just um, use a little bit just to set my concealer, but um, because it still has a little bit of a whitish beige undertone to it, I tend to go a little less heavy handed with it. And I'm going to do the other side here. 
I'm gonna take a little bit and go down the bridge of my nose, forehead. I do have some black lines around my mouth and I find that this powder really helps my foundation not settle into those lines. Now that I have my under eye set, we're now going to actually move on to the powder. For some reason, I thought the powder came with a sponge inside, maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy, but um, I actually have one of her sponges. I'm gonna use that because I've been hearing a lot of good things about her sponge um, and how it's actually made to apply her powders with. So what, that's what we're gonna do today. And I'm gonna be using the sponge to actually set the whole rest of my face. Here is the powder. It has a really nice sort of caramelly tone to it. What I'm gonna do is just dip the sponge in there Tap off any excess, and I'm also gonna tap off any excess on the back of my hand here. I don't want a whole lot of product to end up on my face, so I'm just going to press that into my skin. And I'm going all over my face. I feel like it really smooths out my skin. I think the powder could be a little bit darker. I think that would be good. If you're a little bit darker than me, I still feel like you can set your makeup with this. You just have to make sure you use a brush and not a sponge like this, because I think the sponges like this can get a little bit heavy handed. All right guys, so that's my face completely set with the Laura Mercier, the translucent powder. It is a little bit on the lighter side, not too much, but I feel like once I put on my contour and I, you know, highlight and everything and I set, put on a setting spray, everything is going to blend back in together. But um, so far, I really like it. I like how smooth my face looks. I like how matte my face is. This seems like it's really going to hold... Um, my foundation and keep my face matte all day all right guys so as you can see i have done my whole face um i like how smooth my face looks my face looks so smooth right now i'm amazed this powder although it's amazing i would say that if you're somebody who's maybe like nw48 and lower so if you are a deeper 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 skin tone i will be careful about this powder it is a really nice camel color this might be just a slight bit too light for you if you are somebody who's deeper and you want to use this powder i would highly recommend just using it with just like a powder brush so i'm gonna wear this powder all day long and then i'm gonna come back tonight so i can show you guys how it held up on my skin um throughout the day Hey guys, so I'm back to update you on the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Medium Deep Powder. I've had this on for a long time. I put this on about 10 o'clock this morning and it is now 10 o'clock at night. I think my face looks pretty, pretty, pretty darn good. Now I do have a little bit of like makeup that came off here just because I wore my glasses. That always happened. I have a little bit of shininess around my forehead. That's totally normal. I have a little bit around my brows. That's normal. I have a little bit around my nose. I blotted once. I did not add any more product to my face. I did blot my face once. I would say maybe two hours ago. Until two hours ago, I didn't need to blot my face. As my final thoughts on this is I would definitely be keeping this. I would not be returning this. I love the way it set my makeup. You can use this one or two ways. For a girl who is really simple, if you're somebody who wears like really light foundation or like a BB cream or something like that and you don't want the big fuss and you just want to kind of set your face and go, if, especially if you're oily, you can just put your makeup on and put your foundation on and use this and set your whole face. And this is going to keep your whole face on all day. Um, for the girls that are more like me that like a more full, full face, um, you can definitely highlight underneath your eyes with the regular Laura Mercier powder and then use this all over the face to set your makeup. I cannot believe I've had this makeup on for 12 hours. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share on your social media. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat to see all the new things that I buy. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in my next video. Bye.